the Australian Open not too far away, about six weeks or so until we actually go to the Australian Open, which is crazy because the season just ended. We have the entry list for the Australian Open. It is out now, and we've got some really interesting names that are seeded, but it's more important to see who's not seeded. So taking a look at the top 32 seeds to start, and of course, Djokovic, he will be the number one seed going into the Australian Open with Alcaraz at number two, Medvedev at three, and Sinner at four, the four best players of 2023. Other players that will be seeded at the Australian Open, Ben Shelton, Hubert Hurkacz, who have been very good over the last couple of months. Sebastian Quarter also going to be seeded. He's been pretty good the last few months as well. And Bubba is actually the cutoff at number 32 in the world. He is the cutoff for the seeds, but let's go have a look at who's not seeded at the event. Start up with Chris Eubanks. He is one of the most dangerous unseeded players, the most high ranked as well at 34 in the world. So he will be very dangerous for a first round opponent potentially for a seed. Stan Wawrinka, of course, always dangerous in a first round of a slam. Of course, Andy Murray as well, very dangerous in the first round of any slam. You can see there, Berrettini, he's also very, very dangerous. Unseated plate, 92 in the world, that's kind of crazy. Marin Cilic, also very dangerous, but Rafa Nadal, unseated at a slam for the first time in forever. He's got a number nine protected ranking, but that doesn't get him a seed in the top 30. So that's the thing with protected rankings. They get you into tournaments, but they don't get you seeds. So he will be unseated going to this Australian Open and could potentially play one of those big four guys in the first round. There is Rafa Nadal, the most dangerous unseeded player by a long shot. Now he does get in for free, of course, doesn't need a wild card to play this event. I think he gets like about nine events or nine or 12, something like that over the next few months to get into tournaments without having to get wild cards. And then if he needs them, he'll get them. But look, everyone's going to give Rafa a wild card if he needs one anyway, so it won't really matter. But man, the draw is going to be crazy with Rafa back in the tournament. Of course, Djokovic versus Nadal, first round. That would be insane. But there are other dangerous players as well. Like I said, Berrettini's coming back from injury. He'll be a very dangerous first round opponent for anybody. Murray, Vavrinka, always dangerous. Even Marin Cilic coming back for the first time in a long time. But man, where do you think Rafa's going to be put? Just take a guess down in the comments below. Do you think we're going to get Djokovic versus Nadal? I reckon we might get something like a Nadal versus Root or something early in the tournament. That's my prediction. I reckon we'll get a, we won't get the Nadal Djokovic epic, but we might get a Nadal versus Root or maybe maybe even a Nadal versus Rublev, something like that. One of the big boys in the first couple of rounds, but man, Rafa Nadal unseated a slam for the first time in a long time, and he could play anybody in that first round.